Hello everybody. I've got a little clumpiness going on in the soil here. And uh, I want to show you a method I could uh, take these clumps and break them apart or take a tool like this and hit them, which is kind of time consuming, but they, they break apart. But once they get dry, they're really hard to break apart. So, I'll introduce you to another method of doing this. And that's going to be called Malawi Super Mulch. Not having to do it by hand like this. All right, I've got some Malawi Super Mulch made. And this is the material. There is the white, or the gray, uh, yellow, Tan colored stuff is rice hulls. And there's some chicken manure in there that's dry. A little bit of peat moss. And then there's some chunks of what's compost in there too. Some old dry stuff. But we put it on dry like this. I'll just fill this all up like this. That's adding that organic energy in there is going to turn this soil soft. I'll just show you what happens when I get it all pretty well covered. And I'll work it in a little bit. So I'll just take my fork here and we'll just see if we can work that in a little bit. But we want to power of the mulch to do the the real work for us here. So I'm not going to bust up these clods, clods too bad here. And then I'm going to cover it with some straw and add water. This next ingredient is just some straw that's actually some barley straw and I'll just put that on top. That shades the ground. Put that all on there and I'll take and actually spread it around. See, there's a stem in there, I don't want that in there. I'll just spread this around like this on top of this clunky old soil, like that. And then I'll add one more ingredient that's going to bring some worms to the surface. And they're going to do all the work. Ninja worms. Okay, here's the last ingredient. Water. Water it good. And that'll start to break down the clumps. But it'll also bring the earthworms that we like to call ninja worms. A nickname for them. To the surface. Is they're going to go after that Malawi super mulch that was put on there with all the chicken manure and peat moss and everything in there. And um, when I add the water, there's their food, there's their water, there's the shade that'll break this up, and it's going to break down into. This bed's been sitting here for about, oh, one week since we dug potatoes. I just want to show you how it's breaking down. The mulch was put on top of the soil, covered with straw, then there was a little bit of this older compost, clumpy stuff, thrown on top to hold the straw. But this was potatoes. It was very cloddy, just like the other bed that I showed you. But you can see how soft this is now. It's just as crumbly and as soft and as full of the earthworms that we like to call, but look at that nice looking soil. That completely removed that clumpiness that was there just by covering it up with Malawi Super Mulch and laying straw on it. Putting a little more comp
compost on the top, watering it, it just mellows the soil so it's soft. Very important point. This is a way to keep growing things when you're not growing vegetables. We are growing soil here, getting ready for the next time to plant this bed. Uh, and I think this is going to be a really, really good breakthrough to get rid, of, get rid of the clunkiness or the clumpiness of hard clay soil. Thank you very much. See how easy that fork went in? Woo.